Good students, in this video, I want to show you how to format text in PowerPoint, in a PowerPoint slide. In front of me, I have a PowerPoint slide, which I've, um, which I've typed inside it, PowerPoint and layout as a subtopic. Now I need to format each uh, text in PowerPoint. This, the same way you have been formatting your text in Word is the way you do it here. The only difference is that in this case, you are only going to deal with content placeholders. Now you are going to select the information before you do any formatting. I'm going to just be dealing with the full group in this particular lesson. So let's select our PowerPoint, um, with the word PowerPoint, so that we can format it. Now we can change the theme font here of our heading to the desired theme. Just click on the drop down list for more options, or you can type it in here if you know the name. So I can select, let's say, Arial for my for my for my heading or for my title, and I can as well uh, change the size of my theme of my font to something that is different or something 60 or to I can type it in here let's say if I'm asked to change to 65 or if I can't find the font size inside this drop down list I can always type to something that I want and then I press enter when I'm done I can as well um, clear all formatting using this uh, a, a and an eraser. So if you click on that, you, you, it's going to go to the default font theme, theme font, as well as the font size. You can as well bold your heading here and you can italize and you can underline. Just not in PowerPoint, we do not have a lot of underlining styles because normally it's not, it's not very really nice to, or to underline a lot of information in PowerPoint. It's not a nice visual. You can as well uh, select them, strike through if there is need, and you can as well insert a text shadow for your PowerPoint, uh, for, your pop, for your text, as well as um, you can change the case here, select, and you can change your text to either a sentence case, lower case, upper case, capitalize each word. You can as well click on this drop down arrow for all those options under the font grouping. So if you click on that, it's going to show you all the um, different buttons as text inside this uh, dialog box. So you can change your, your font here. And you can change your, if you want to italize, bold italize, you can change here or bold or regular text and you can change the size here, and you can do everything that you could do with each and every button that is here, and you can do it under this um, dialog box. The only thing that you will not be able to do is to highlight your text, but everything else, you can do it using this, um, this um, dialog box. Thank you for being part of this lesson. Hopefully you are enjoying.